we have another guest and this guest is a multi-talented woman she's a radio host television host an actor a media person a content creator and right now she's the general manager at last giddy fm <laughs> i almost Hi, clapped Lolo. for myself <laughs> <laughs> Like you, you wear a lot of hats, and you're someone I admire in the industry. Isn't how many years now in the industry? Hmm. A couple, hmm. a couple. It's not it's more years. than a couple. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's almost twenty now. Wow. wow. So, what has that journey been like for you? Um, it's been an exciting journey. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful thing to watch yourself grow, and that's what I've seen happen for me. You know, when you have a passion for what you do, and you know, you see yourself move from one level to the other. It's very wonderful to see mm. it's 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 a tough journey but you know when you love what you're doing it doesn't make it so hard so it's been a privilege to live my life the way i've lived it and it's still living it i, I mean it's clear unarguable how <laughs> talented you are and a lot of young people look up to you especially mm. in how you've been able to harness different crafts see you really do your thing even if it's with radio or your 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 takes on social ills i've been fortunate enough to watch you talk <laughs> like that and then we see you in movies doing your thing making yeah. us laugh but overall there is a i think a similar thing that we see throughout where it's just full of pleasant pleasantness and joy that rise through all your work um is that something that has been intentional for you yeah actually mm. i don't know that's <laughs> you're one of the very few people that got it spot on mm. when i got on radio i had to ask myself what my purpose for radio was and it was just to bring joy mm. i always tell people that joy and happiness maybe i define it differently i think joy has no reason mm -hmm. it's the fact that it's just there you're just joyful it comes from mm. a deep place and happiness are just based on things you have that come into your life per time and that's what i set out to do mm. so that's what i do my best to allow resonate through the things that i do mm. if contacting me or meeting me does not change you inspire you motivate you encourage you then it doesn't feel like i've done a good job mm. so and he has to bring you laughter. He has to bring myth. He has to bring, you know, just losing up. Because mm. people are too serious these days. And mm. I always I mean. tell people that <laughs> troubles never... <laughs> you know they go. You know they go But which one is the most joyful for you? I mean, you do a lot of things. Mm. So what, yeah. What's that thing that when you do, it's like, I, this doesn't even feel like work? Everything. Because mm. I tell people I'm an art form. Mm. If you look at what I do, it's like there's a mother tree and there are branches. Of course, the mother tree is the art form that I am, which can express himself in dance. He can express himself in comedy. He can express himself in music, dance, poetry, you know, motivation. Mm. So for me, everything I do, I enjoy it per time. Mm. That's why I don't dwell on yesterdays. Mm. I see every day as what you have. I know anyone watching you now would say, okay, I want to become what she is. Uh, it's not as easy because uh, I get a lot of people sending me DMs to say, uh, how do we do this? How do we get into the entertainment industry mm. or even the media? And you've done it and it looks like, oh, it's easy peasy. You're mm. enjoying it. But I need you to talk about the challenges, um, no matter how briefly you can mm. make them and how you've been able to still go through them and get to where you are right now. Because mm. I think the media is the place where you don't grow Hmm. Um, it, it there's takes time. I mean, it's 20 years now. For me, and look at where you are. Media, if you're not careful mm -hmm. about plotting your graph of growth, mm -hmm. it doesn't have an upward movement. Mm. You can be an OAP forever, mm. just like you can be an actor forever. Mm. But it is now a deliberate plan that you have to move from maybe now I'm the general manager of Las Giddy FM and deliberate movement into management to mm. be able to do more. You can move from being an actor into directing, into producing, mm. you know, doing more. Uh, it's now you that decides how you want to grow. But if it's about staying in a place, you might not have the, the, the what you do might not afford you growth mm. to that point. If you stay as a presenter, you might never head this station. So it depends on what you want out of life. It's, and there's nothing wrong with wanting what you're doing. Larry King was a presenter for years till he was totally, he couldn't even do it any longer. Mm. So there is nothing wrong with having that kind of so goal. So you have to define your Just goal. Just define your goal and stay by it. Mm. When it comes to challenges, I tell people that challenges are, is, is part of life. It's like your shadow. Mm. You can't escape from it. You can't pray it away. Because inside those challenges are the growth that you experience. You can't, you can't have a baby that wants to give, you know, grow teeth. It's going to cry. It's going to drool before the teeth comes out. Mm. 
Mm. That's the way life is. Mm. How many challenges do I want to throw in your face? Mm. Is it people that have told me I'm not good enough to do what I'm doing presently? Mm. Or that they will give you flimsy excuses that has nothing to do with your intellectual capability mm. and talk about your looks? I've seen somebody said I'm too ugly to be on radio. Wow. I'm too fat to do TV. I'm too this. And I'm like, okay. Every time I've been faced with challenges in my life, I think one of the things that have helped me is to know what it is. Hmm. As long as you know that this is a challenge that is built to pass. Hmm. I, I, I man up. Hmm. When I was presenting, when I was started out on radio, I've seen callers call and say, she not pitching that one they talk about. Clear that woman, come on. Hmm. But I would tell myself that these people have been doing it. They are here. That means I can move from where I am, which is not pleasant, to where they are. So I focus. I challenge myself. I keep pushing. Challenges are too many. I've done events that you were not received well by the audience. Mm. But you look at it that, okay, this was wrong. What can I do better? Mm. So those are, you must see challenges as learning curves. Things that are called to buffer your life and, you know, push you in the direction of your growth. Yeah. But if I keep talking about so many embarrassing moments, is it going to events and you have, because you had no car and your clothes would tear in the bus? You know, how many can I talk about? Mm. Writing in a newspaper that, oh, you pronounced the word wrong. You know, I've had my fair share of it. And I'm still having challenges. But I've grown to a point to understand what they are mm. and see it for what it is. And don't see it beyond that. I like that you've touched on that. I, I think for young people, that message is very important. Very strong. Because we have the trolling system, I think we get more challenges, um, or let's say critics, much easier. Before social media, I think it would be hard for me to find out that somebody didn't like what I said yes. on the show. But now it's almost instantly. So I really, yes, uh, right. I'm, I'm really encouraged you by know, that. You know, by trolls, I keep mm. telling every personality that I know that is a celebrity of some sort, you shouldn't let the, 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 the comments of people that don't know you affect you. Mm. They don't know you. They see a picture of you. So how would you be able to respond to somebody that saw a picture of you? Mm. It's foolishness on your part to spend your time there. Mm. What I would do occasionally is correct them sometimes that you don't know me. So you don't even know what I am about. Mm. So if you let it, if you dwell on it, it's going to affect you and the delivery of what you set out to do. Mm. And the people that criticize you will criticize you more because they made you lose focus, but they didn't know that it's their words that got you there. But you shouldn't allow it so that you can continue achieving the things you set out to do. Taking, taking this whole thing back to your journey as well, you know, when, for me, I think the path you chose in the media industry, aside branching into emceeing and actor and all that, like you said, you're a work of arts, basically, mm -hmm. right? But when it comes to radio and um, television and all that, it's, it's some sort of unconventional path. Mm -hmm. So when you were threading the paths of pigeon and now getting to this <laughs> level, did you ever think that... Um, you are going to be boxed in a corner. Because I've seen people who do pigeon well, and they're really worried about having to be known for pigeon. And they want to be a global brand as well. They yeah. want, I mean, you speak English well, what right? What does but, that even so mean? So did you ever have that <laughs> issue? At within? all. At mm -hmm. all. It's how you see yourself, you're perceived. Okay. I've had people come from universities abroad to study me as a brand. Mm. I've made my biggest money speaking pigeon. So what does English do for you? <laughs> I keep telling people that pidgin is a language of communication, mm -hmm. which cannot be demeaned in any way. Just mm -hmm. like you speak English well, I expect you to speak your traditional language well. Mm -hmm. Like I would speak Yoruba, and Igbo men will speak Igbo. It is because we're westernizing our head, and somebody is feeding you dust, that is making you feel like because you're fluent in, in speaking pigeon. your language, that you're Raz. Mm. It has nothing to do with Raz. It has everything to do with communication. Are you communicating? Do people understand you? Do they embrace what you say? That's all you need to answer. So I've never, stu I've never stood anywhere in the world and I'm afraid to speak pigeon. I would even tell people that my English language is my general language. My pigeon language is my money-making language. Mm, so yes, when I speak pigeon, it's money. Mm. That's what I'm known for. But it does not dust off of me that I can speak my English language impeccably. Mm. My, my children speak French. They speak pigeon. 
They speak Yoruba averagely. Do you know my kids excel in Igbo language more than Yoruba in school? Mm. So what's wrong with it? Is how we see it. Very soon, everybody is clamoring for what can bring us together. Do you know our indigenous languages tear us apart? Mm. But pidgin seems to be that rallying point for everyone now. Mm. There's hardly any culture, any indigenous language that doesn't speak pidgin. Yeah. yeah. I wanna I wanna go more into your personal life a little yeah, bit because nah. <laughs> mm. because i mean you, you so you have to wrap it up in one question yes okay because <laughs> I, I can tell that you have a lot of support i don't think anyone just goes through life with so many challenges and is able to have that shock absorber that you do and you do it so beautifully i'm sure at some point you have somebody's hair that you can lie on yeah. and all of that type really? of stuff yes so i wanted well, to say well. <laughs> i wanted to i wanted you to quickly gi quickly give me uh, an insight of who those people are well, for yep. me, everybody has a community. Everybody mm. has their own army. I do have mine. My family, I'm a single mom and I love it. I love my kids. It's not easy peasy like people think it is. I have my 10 times of crying. I have my 10 times of doubt. I have my times when I just don't feel like I can do this. Mm. But I have my own army. Sometimes people don't even know that those that support you online, sometimes they can be good for you. Yeah. Uh, I have my family base, I have my friend base, I have church. So, you yeah. know, there's, there's, everybody has someone in their corner. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a special man. Mm. Fortunately, we no. need to go. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. You. It's been an amazing conversation with you. And of course, an explosive episode as well. Thank you for watching and do join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or just tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. <laughs>